everyone how are you doing we welcome you all to the hands on impressions video of the build 14342 microsoft has today pushed the windows 10 mobile build 14342 to insiders in fast ring and the build brings with itself some changes some new features and lots of fixes and improvements we have uh, already posted our first hands on video of the build 14342 in that video we we covered all the official changes plus unreported changes that we could explore and find out and which were not available in official change log so you would uh, you would like to watch the video and read about the unreported changes by going to nokia power user now coming to this video we will talk about our installation experience we will uh, do lots of hands on with the build on two devices plus we will talk about our first impressions of the build so starting with the installation experience for uh, to these two of our devices lumia 550 and lumia 640 xl uh, we our installation experience was not bad actually if i talk about lumia 640 xl then it may have uh, taken around from 50 to 55 minutes for the whole process to i mean finish uh, starting from the build download and install to restart to data migration so for everything it took around 50 to 55 minutes but uh, as, as per microsoft there may be some issues uh, with the data migration and you may need to wait a bit if it uh, everything seems stuck or not moving so when the build gets installed when the device restarts and after the restart when you reach to the stage of data migration then if things are not moving uh, very fast then you should not lose patience and try to do anything so anything funny actually so maybe you can do a bit of uh, soft reset if nothing moves so power button and volume down button and you can do a soft reset but it it should be fine so <clears throat> for us it has been good actually on these two devices because we did not face any issues or and the whole installation took around 50 to 55 minutes but in your case if you are facing issue you can uh, you can wait till the migration completes or you can do a soft reset if it takes lots of time so now coming to how the build behaves in general life normal use so we will do first on the lumia 550 so <clears throat> let's start the or let's launch the store button uh, just for your information the store has also uh, received an update and it has got a new ui so we will uh, do both we'll check the ui as well and 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 we will uh, just check how the store opens etc so here we are you can see the new ui that highlights the top apps top games featured collections so if uh, if you are using a redstone build then you should be able to get this even i received this uh, store update on the build last build that is build 14332 very interesting that if you go to the download on updates here you can see when you have updated a, a, a an app or a game so which a feature which uh, was like uh, very high on the demand list of many of you so microsoft has finally uh, catered to that so it takes bit of you know, time in you know uh, bringing those stats but it should be here soon okay in the meantime we can send it to background and we can keep i mean continue with our hands on of the build so let's check the cortana we will send cortana the background for later we will <coughs> do the multitasking test we can open the camera and see how fast the camera opens and how good are like the shot to shot timing so it's quite fast actually now let's talk about the microsoft edge which has got a very uh, cool new feature microsoft uh, edge has got uh, swipe to go forward or go i mean swipe to 
new backward feature so you can now browse you can go to any page and uh, go back or forward by using the swipe and good news is that it has not crashed it even once on uh, any of my two devices And from my experience, I can tell you that it's a bit faster than uh, the last Microsoft Edge build. It, it's uh, kind of rendering the web pages really fast. I mean, that's what I feel based on my own experience. So here we are on uh, the next page so now it's time to even just check actually we have demoed this in our first video but you can just for sake of you can just see it so this is how it works and microsoft Edge has not disappointed on this build things are okay, i mean fine not only it's uh, rendering the pages very really, i mean quite good quite fast on a device like luna 550 but also other stuff like zooming panning etc is fine is good so let's <coughs> send you to the background as you can see we have also talked about this unreported change which is in notification it, it now really looks good you can see the messaging and compare to the last build or to the threshold and you can see how it uh, gels to the uh, background the dark theme that is set it really looks nice and you can expand the time has moved to here so these changes we have discussed so let us check other thing other stuff like let's go to settings and see how fast it opens and all So quite okay most of the things are working fine the build is okay we can check a bit of scrolling and see if it is all works fine and it does oh we opened it no problem <clears throat> Let's check the maps once. It opens quickly actually. There are some improvements in GPS and GPS positioning. So it, it, it uh, reflects here. The map could uh, locate it really. I mean, it's working fast. Opens fast. So let's send it to the background. Let's quickly check the multitasking part. So let's say we open the Cortana. Maps. We can open the store.
so till now we can see that our impressions are quite good for this build it, it behaves uh, in a I mean good way polished manner kind of polished obviously it's a <clears throat> redstone build and uh, we cannot really say that it is polished because there obviously may be some bugs and talking about bugs we have found few <clears throat> one of them is about in the bluetooth the bluetooth uh, even you have devices on uh, build 14324 it's really difficult to connect them we try to connect these two devices on the basis i mean uh, via bluetooth and it was really really difficult so this is one thing uh, for microsoft they should not only you know work on uh, ui improvement for the uh, Windows 10 mobile in terms of Bluetooth but also try to improve it because uh, Bluetooth gives lots of issues while trying to connect. So as we talked about like the for uh, on a Lumia 550 the build really behaves in a smooth manner kind of no hiccups no issues as such but as we said there are some bugs and especially we talked about the bluetooth part where we still see uh, some issues apart from that we have like uh, used this build for maybe like seven eight hours on this device so there are not there is not much that we can comment on so we can quickly see it on a lumia 640 xl how it behaves and then we can uh, talk about our final impressions So we will open a few uh, apps again on the Lumia 640XL and we will do it quickly because uh, I mean it has better processor and it's a faster device than Lumia 550 so we expect that things uh, behave in a better way, faster. Yes, and let's send it to background. Let's quickly open the store. Maybe the store needs a bit of improvement, especially uh, when we go to the downloads and updates. It takes a bit of time before it uh, populates all the apps and games that have been updated so on lumia 550 we saw that it was taking lots of time even on lumia 640 xl it, it took lots of time for us but i mean in morning while we were like uh, doing a bit of hands-on it was fine it appeared but again as you can see it is taking a bit of time so okay so we will come to this uh, let's send back it to the background so as we said uh, this is the second thing that we can uh, say that about this build that a store app it needs bit improvements and obviously because it has just seen a revamp in the ui and other stuff so maybe there are some issues which can be you know later uh, microsoft can fix them with subsequent updates let's send it to the background again check the cortana cortana opened quite fast actually let's check maps we can send it to the background calendar app let's send you the background file explorer we can open normal hands-on normal navigation quite okay Now let's check the multitasking part again. 
quite fast. So, uh, if we have to give our uh, impressions of the built-in nutshell, we can say that on these two devices at least, we demoed it in front of you and the build behaves, I mean, in a good way, we did not see any crashes or any, any kind of uh, freezes, any that kind of issue which can mar your, uh, you know, I mean, normal user experience. So, the, even the multitasking was quite good even on a Lumia 550, Lumia 640XL, it was obviously slightly better. Uh, coming to battery life, since we have like used this build on devices for like 8, uh, somewhere like 8 to 12 hours, so it's really difficult to say anything about it, but uh, currently we did not see any, any abnormal kind of battery discharge or that kind of issue, those kind of issues. Uh, they're coming to bugs. We talked about Bluetooth bug. We tried to connect and it was giving us issues. The store opens really, I mean, it's a bit sluggish, but it's a new update uh, with UI revamp and new code. So obviously it's sluggish and things don't appear as fast as you would expect. Apart from that, we could, would, were not able to find lots of issues. You you can actually refer to the known issues uh, on Nokia Power User where Microsoft has talked about the issues which are in this build. But apart from those issues, the build behaves fine. So if you are uh, on already in fast ring, you can you know keep uh, or upgrade to this build without any issues. It should uh, behave in a in a, in an expected manner, not a, not in an abnormal way. Anyways, uh, but obviously uh, these builds are not meant for a daily driver kind of thing. So if you expect a build to be daily driver from Redstone, you can be disappointed because there may be some kind of you know. I mean, sudden you can start facing some issues. So with that, we come to end of this video. Hope you have liked this video. Uh, stay tuned for more on Nokia Power User. Thanks for watching.